Hedrick's Nebula. Okay, are you ready to learn yes. today's topic? It's pizza? Wait, sorry. No. I hope I'm ready. Oh, man. We should do an episode on pizza for sure. First Rule that one. First clue to guess today's topic. Today's topic is something that helps regulate the Earth's temperature. What on Earth is it? Water. Close. The ocean? The like, ocean. real close. Oh, my God. I'm going to give you the second one because you're going you're gonna to guess it after these. I have a feeling. You're so close already. Okay. So okay. if one inch of today's topic covered an entire acre of land, it would weigh over 126,000 pounds. I think, is this the ice cap, the ice um, capsules that are nope. melting as <laughs> the climate changes? <laughs> but this is part of it. You're so close. Oh okay, goodness. so everyone thinks that this is the shape of a teardrop, but it's actually the shape of a hamburger bun. Wow. Wow. It's, it's not a drop of water. I'm going to, oh my God. Gosh, Molly. Oh my gosh. If you were if you were any closer to this, it would be part of you. Oh my god. I'm gonna say this again. I'm gonna say it one more time. Okay. People think that this is the shape of a teardrop. Rain. Yeah! We're talking about rain! It's a scientific melody. It's the scientific melody. Rain, rain in the head, on my bed, in the set, in the Okay, in so the shed. why does it rain? So what we're really going to talk about today is the water cycle. <gasps> Have you heard of that no. before? I've heard of the water cycle. And mm -hmm. you know what? To be fair, I, I do run the gentle cycle quite a, quite a few times when I'm <laughs> washing my mode. dog's clothes. Yeah, on eco mode. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. It's very similar. Yeah. So the water cycle is the way in which water moves all around the earth. Mm. Yes. Now, the cool thing about the water cycle is that it doesn't really have a beginning or an end. It really is a big, continuous circle. Flow. So an easy way to start describing the water cycle is if we start, because it doesn't have a start technically, it could mm -mm. start anywhere. But for yeah, the sake of this. Yeah, it could start this, condensation. It, okay, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. But for the sake of this, we're going to start with a body of water on Earth. So let's think about a lake or the ocean or. Pond. A pond, but like a really big pond. <laughs> or like, like a like a re like the, the your friend who has that really cool pool in his backyard, and you yes. don't know why your mom just won't get a pool in your backyard, and you're like, mom, Been we should there. have a pool. You always say you want me to have more friends. Well, you know how I would have more friends if I could invite them over for a if pool a party, pool. and I can't Can do I... that because we don't have a freaking pool in the backyard. Um, I have to tell you that I do have a pool in my house at home. Continue on. Oh. That's right. Okay, so we're going to start with a large body of water, a lake or an ocean, preferably. So, so you've been to the ocean, yeah? I've been to, hey, you want to know something cool? What? I live a stone's throw away from the ocean, and I bike no there. Way. Yes, I do. I bike there probably once or twice a week. You could throw a stone into the ocean from They your did house? call me Sam when I was younger, strong arm Molly. Is that real life? 100%. One day we'll throw a ball around and you'll be like, wait a minute, this is kind of silly. I always thought it was because it was really easy for you to pressure your friends into doing things. <laughs> oh, strong arm Molly over here. <laughs> no, no, no. It's because of my toss. <laughs> Leave that in, Rachel. Uh, so in a large body of water, some water will get super hot from the sun. Mm -hmm. And you know what happens next. It evaporates. Evaporates But like do you my know what water. it evaporates into? I do. Condensation. I'm going to ask that question again. Do you know what it evaporates into? I do. Evaporation. <laughs> yeah, vapor. It evaporates vapor. into vapor. vapor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vips. I was trying to really emphasize the proper syllables I in knew. vapor. I knew you were, and you're trying and to help me out. I was. Yeah, I was trying to help you, and it didn't work. Okay, yeah, so the vapor... The water gets really, really hot from the sun, and it, turn, it evaporates into vapor. The vapor rises up into the air, and then just kind of hangs out in Earth's atmosphere. Yeah. It has like a little, like a like a little hangout party, but it's like by itself for a long time, yeah. just kind of chilling in the air. Kind of like you without the pool in your backyard. <laughs> All right. Well, I would have come to your house regardless. I would have been terrified to invite you because <laughs> you're a girl. And I was terrified of girls until I was you like 25. Moving we on. are scary. Um, that's not true. Um, <laughs> so 
when the vapor in the Earth's atmosphere starts to get together with all of its little vapor buddies, uh, all the other vapor in the sky that evaporated from the water, the lake, or the ocean, as the example that we're using, they start to stick together. And do you know what that forms, Molly? I think it forms a cloud. Yeah! I think it forms a cloud. Do you yeah. know what else I think? What? I think that when the rain and the vapors, I think when the vapors get real heavy and heavy and there's no more room in the cloud, then they drip down and they're, they're raining. I... I'm so mad at you. Did I steal it? You're stealing all of my facts. Molly. Oh no. <laughs> hey, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about now what happens when there's all of that vapor? Yeah, yeah. So all the vapor collects together and forms clouds. No, you got it right. It's great. The cool thing though is that I don't I bet you never thought about this before, but clouds are constantly moving. What? So when what? you go go outside right now, and if you look up into the sky and you can see a cloud, I will bet you a dollar right now, it's moving. Now, I'm. it's a night sky. Would I be able to still see a cloud in a night sky? Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes, actually. Yeah, so joke's yeah. on you, Molly. Yeah, no, I was, I was uh, just asking. <laughs> I think you'll know when it's a joke because you'll giggle. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, yeah, so clouds are moving all of the time. You can go outside, find the cloud right now. It's moving. So the cool thing is that storms can move clouds. Wind can move clouds. Really anything can move a cloud to a new spot. But. But. Dun, dun, dun. I forgot what I was going to say. So we'll cut what, the butt. What? Wait, wait. So. These clouds will move all around the Earth, and as they move, they keep collecting more and more vapor from lakes and oceans and all that kind of stuff. And then they start to get really, really heavy with all that moisture until they get so full that all of the moisture and the vapor turns back into water, and that's why it rains. That is amazing. That is amazing. You know what this reminds me of? Do you know what this reminds me of? What? You ever had a leak? in your faucet and you put a big old cloth under there to catch the water and then all of a uh -huh. sudden you can't catch it anymore because it's going through the cloth. Oh, too much cloth water. being the cloud. There you go. The, yes. the cloud got too much water in it and it had to leak some of it out, it out, which is rain. So then that rain falls back down to earth. It flows along the ground until it makes its way right back into my a lake. cup. Or the, yeah, the ocean or oh Molly's God. cup. That's right. I love water. It's my favorite drink of all time. How about you? I'm actually a pretty big fan of orange soda. <laughs> <laughs> crush. Throwing it back to crush. Uh, yeah, you know, it happens. But water is orange water. Soda. Wa I'd like a, do, okay, here's a here's an interesting question. Do you like cold water or room temperature water i am it depends on what i'm what i'm doing like if Wrong i have answer. just worked out if you only like warm water i can just tell what it you're, you're i'm offended if it's oh. not if it doesn't make my front teeth hurt <laughs> it's not cold enough that's so interesting now i travel around with my water bottle all the time and if it's in this bottle no matter oh we both have a blue water bottle I this know. is amazing like water the color of water <laughs> <laughs> as we draw it on a paper but if this is dr warm or cold either way it tastes delicious now if i'm That's in fair. a regular we have these just like ikea glasses if that sits out and becomes warm i don't want it i don't want anything to do with it so because i'm not a waster mm, i'll use it for something it. else oh uh, or i'll <laughs> oh, put it in it. the dog's dish you oh, know got it yeah <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a bath in it, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> or, um, um, um. Yeah, so once the water flows back into the lake or the ocean, the water cycle starts over again. That's amazing. Then it evaporates. It gets collected into a cloud. The cloud collects more vapor until it gets too heavy with water, and then it rains, and then the water flows right back into where it came from. Super crazy, right? Super crazy. So now, what came some... first, the rain or the cloud? Uh, the water oh, or the cloud? The vapor or the cloud? Tale as old as time. <laughs> song as <laughs> old as rhyme. <laughs> we can't afford this song. <laughs> um, so what's really, really crazy, though, is that sometimes the weather will change the outcome. What? Isn't that Picture the truth? this. <gasps> what if it gets really, really cold in the sky? And you have a cloud, and you and you and you have a 
a, 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 a cloud full of moisture, and then the moisture starts to freeze, and that becomes and snow or sleet yeah! or snow or sleet or yeah, snow. or both or hail or, or snow or hail. sleet or hail. hail. Yeah. Either yeah. way though, your mail's getting delivered. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I, it might be wet, but you'll get it. It might be wet, but you'll get it. So in that case though. If it gets frozen in the sky, it turns into snow. And snow, will, again, will fall back down to the earth. Once it lands on the earth, it will eventually melt back into water, flow right it. back into the lake or the ocean, and then it starts all over again. You know what? One year in Chicago, living in Chicago, my husband lost his driver's license. Husbands? And... Ew! <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and guess, guess what we found as soon as the winter snow finally melted away in the spring so that was there for a good three months that id was under banks of snow no and then way. come spring it's like oh there it is yeah <laughs> that's pretty for cool sure. actually right um i i'm gonna leave us with this one final factoid Ooh. and molly it's mm. gonna blow your mind <laughs> I'm ready. Okay, so the first part of this, mm. this is a two. It's like a two-parter. It's the it's the actual proposition, and then it's the slam dunk. Blow your mind. MJ twenty three. Did you know that there is the same amount of water on Earth today that there was when the Earth formed? That blows my mind. But that means that when you pour a glass of water from your sink. That water very likely has the same molecules in the water that was in the water when dinosaurs were drinking it. Whoa, Isn't whoa, that whoa, what? insane? Yes. Is that nuts? That is nuts. So I'm drinking. I'm drinking fossil water. Crazy. Yeah. You're drinking that, the same water that the dinosaurs drink. That's the coolest thing that I think I've heard, probably in two to three to four years yeah i yeah. agree a thousand wow. percent crazy wow. right wow that's crazy i'm gonna ask the birds because those are ancestors of the dinos i'm gonna say hey you guys been drinking this and it'll go quack, quack. they'll go quack. yeah yeah and that's yes and, and then it'll vulture. steal your sandwich and fly away oh, super dang annoying it. they I love don't tuna it. i don't want to <laughs> talk about it either um but the best part of all of this is you know what you know what all of this is i think i think that it's a new wrinkle on my brain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> rain drops down to the ground.
Edgebooks Nebula.